so it's Wednesday 5th of July 2017 at 4 4.10 4 p.m. so as you can see I didn't look too, too good it's still swollen yeah. that whole area I didn't haven't shaved since I did my um there's a bit of my look at my face it's a bit swollen like not this side is still a bit sore so I did uh, so anyway so I feel fat because I've been doing emotional eating uh, I'm, not, I'm not feeling today was a very stressful day I got up around 9 a.m. and uh, I feel depressed and I uh, sent an email to my employment uh, consultant agency to um, uh, let them know I'm not feeling well and I'll come tomorrow and I got a response saying oh no you have to um, I was very honest in my email <laughs> <laughs> about what how, how I was feeling you know I wasn't making excuses I was saying I was very tired I was depressed and I just needed one day to engage in self-care and, um, and I got a response saying oh you know you, your book for the doll report has come and you haven't uh, started like it's all my fault uh, and um, so I got a sort of angry at that and I sent them an email saying I can't come I'm not feeling well and uh, you know I told them that they should have written up they should have put my updated my mutual obligation earlier you know that they should have done it earlier I should have um, I should have started I think in, in June somewhere sometime in June um, anyway so and I told you know I told them I enrolled in the course I did the first I went to the first uh, thing and that was didn't you know the where I you know, where I went to that place and they told me uh, they were closing down and the second one also they were closing down so I told them you know I'm doing my part you know and you know so I got I told them I can't come and then I sent an uh, email to to them saying I want to change or request a change in I don't know if this is if I should be talking about this because <laughs> defamation anyway so um so no I just wanted it I, I said I wanted to change in employment consultant and they, they sent me an email saying why could you give us a reason why? So I gave them a very, I, I, I gave them copies of all the email correspondence uh, with them, you know, and, 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 and I told them why I wanted the change. And then I haven't got a response from them. And then around 2.46, I get an email. So this is, I, I sent a request uh, to have my employment consultant changed I, I didn't say why or I didn't, I didn't make any ma make a big deal about it I just asked them how can I change my employment consultant and they they asked me how could you tell us why what are the reasons you want to change and that's when I went into the told them a little bit of the reasons why I wanted to change and I and I gave them uh, copies of email correspondence with the my employing employment consultant and um, so as evidence so I just tell them told them read this for yourself and you know it you, you might provide some context so I haven't heard I didn't hear from them for a while for and then around 2 46 p.m. I get an e email like an automated email telling them telling me I have to come to the appointment today at 3 p.m. like at 2 46 they send an email telling me to come at 3 p.m. and I got like and I, I said, I'm sorry, but this is, I can't come today. This 14 minutes doesn't give me enough time. This is unreasonable, verging on harassment. And, you know, I told them, like, um, anyway. Um, so I feel kind of harassed by my employment agency. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, all this time I've been just taking all of this crap from them and I haven't really stood up 
So, I mean, I'm trying to stand up. I did try. I did send an email before where I was I said I was unhappy, but and I got told off for that. <laughs> I mean, I sent an email telling them I was unhappy with that, you know, their first work for the doll thing. And I, I, I got told, don't send an email. And I'm, So anyway, so anyway, so so I told them that tomorrow I'll, I'll come at 1030 and I want to, you know, I want to speak with some, someone else. I don't, you know. So I feel so harassed by that. I feel, I feel so harassed by the employment agencies. And I told them now I've got social anxiety, I've got depression, and I, I don't like, you know, I find it difficult to deal with people. And this is just making my systems, you know, symptoms worse. Um, and, and then I get, we get an, I get another email saying, oh, your lease is from my so the real estate agency. Thing, your lease is going to be expired. Like the owner is uh, ending the lease or something. And so we have to leave this house by October 13th. So we've got to find another place to live in in three months. So that was a bit of another additional <laughs> harassment. So, um... So I'm quite tired. What I do is I made my veggie stew. I feel the fat. And... So anyway, so I'm taking a new approach to my life. I'm 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 not going to uh, allow allow people to bully me and push me around. And because because I'm always like a doormat, you know, I just don't stand up for myself. So, it's one thing, see, I find it very diff very hard to stand up to people in real, like, face-to-face -face interaction, uh, you know, which is why I don't want to actually, I find, you know, I find it very hard to just be assertive. So I can be assertive in, in, in a text, but face-to-face, -face, like, I just... That's why it's so hard to be assertive. Uh, but uh, no, I don't think I'm. I don't know. This is something I gotta. Uh, well, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, so yeah, I'm not doing too good today. I feel fat, and my face is swollen, and um, I'm feeling harassed by my employment agency. And uh, who knows, they might uh, suspend my payments. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I just don't care. I just. <sighs> anyway, so yes, I'm taking a new approach to my life. I am standing up for myself. And uh, I am, uh, yeah, I want to, I think this is a part of my self care is I, I will establish boundaries and maintain my boundaries and uh, um, I'm not going to put myself in situations that are going to subject me to harm and trauma mm, I'm not going to do that to myself because I think it's masochistic to constantly expose yourself to harmful situations and circumstances so yeah i'm a i do want to grow as a person but i want to do it in a more um, safe way so um yeah part of my self-care is i want to start vlogging again because uh vlogging does help me it's therapeutic and uh i'm gonna do like a weekly kind of videos so i'm not gonna do make videos every time when i go out i'll put them all into like a uh, like I'll upload my videos um, on Saturday uh, um, I think I'll upload them at 6 p.m. and I'll make them public at 9 p.m. hopefully that'll give me enough time to to watch the video and um, oh, I burped. <laughs> to watch the video and uh, you know make it public or whatever anyway uh, it's, it's, it's not like it's a work in progress so the times might not be exact you know I'll, maybe it'll be public at 10 I don't know 6 p.m. 5 p.m. I'll upload I don't know I'm, 
uh, this is the approach I'm taking. So part of my self-care is I'm only going to make one video a week, a weekly vi vi video. It may contain vlogs. And, uh, you know, it may contain one vlog or it may contain two vlogs <laughs> or whatever, how, how I feel. And, uh, yes, I'm going to establish boundaries and protect myself and not, not expose myself to unsafe situations, unsafe people, and um, no, I said in my email, I, I don't feel safe around my employment consultant, I just don't, I, 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 yeah. anyway, I don't want to get sued, because I'm already, um, so, yeah, I don't got anything about that, um, uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I was just very harassed. I mean, what is the ethics of, like, is it wrong for me to talk about my experiences with my employment agency? Aren't they like a... Aren't they like a, a body? They are, they are a private corporation contracted by the Australian government to provide uh, employment services. So, uh, what... Can I not talk about my experiences with dealing with them without um, going into specifics? Anyway, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so it's good that I make these videos because they're like a record of my life. So um, yeah, well, anyway, so. Defamation is definitely something I want to say. You want to think about uh, because I, I. It depends. You see, if the uh, you have everyone has a right to make a complaint. See, I have a right to make a complaint, but if the um, organization is a full pro. Okay, okay. I guess I guess defamation is only true. I mean, you can only succeed in defamation if the statement you're making is factually untrue so what i've said in this video is uh factually true you know everything i've said is factually true these things did happen to me today you know I, I have email correspondence to back up everything i said so i cannot be sued for defamation if what i'm saying is factually true i can only be sued for defamation if the statements i i make reveal the identity of the person and two uh, they are uh, factually untrue and cause the uh, reputation of that person to be diminished so one defense to defamation I believe is if you are if you're making a statement that is factually true you cannot be defamed so anyway <laughs> All right, so I'm going to relax a bit because I'm just so stressed and uh, I don't want to make a habit of talking about my interactions with my employment agency, but I was very stressed today and I just felt like I needed to vent and also talk about my new approach to life, self-care and, uh, you know, taking care of myself and not subjecting myself to um, unsafe situations and unsafe people and you know just establishing strong boundaries and taking care of myself and and also um doing the um weekly vlog yeah so uh so tomorrow i have to deal with the uh, employment agency and uh, i find i hope that's not too stressful because i, I do think it's kind of stressful but <sighs> so today was kind of a stressful day anyway. Right. Uh, okay, <laughs> so it's 6 o'clock p.m. Let me sit. Oh, I sit like this, it's better. Um, so, <laughs> 6 o'clock p.m. Thursday, 6th of July, 2017. So I, uh, you know, ate my veggie stew and I'm trying to relax a bit. So I did send a, an email to my employment agency and because they didn't respond yesterday and um, so they responded to me and um, I thanked them for responding to me and uh, said, uh, 
you know, that I will... Uh, well, actually, the manager just wanted uh, said uh, she would like to speak to me so she, she can discuss this, like uh, my my circumstances and what's bothering me, and you know, his whole job plan and all that stuff. And um, so, um, I wasn't feeling that good in the morning, but I feel okay right now. So um, I told, uh, and I said in the email thing, I I might. I don't know if I can come tomorrow, but I'll try and come on Monday. So, my hair grows. See, see this is a, can you see that? This is a, the, see the hair is a growing, huh? Is the, the hair grows. I feel like my hair is growing a little bit. I guess it's because I'm eating the veggie stew suit. Growing, uh, I think. Anyway, so um, well, yeah. So um, I I am going to do the weekly vlog, but I also like yesterday when I made my video, I actually already up uploaded it uh, to my backup channel. So it's a private video. It's fourteen minutes or six. That's the first clip. Uh, so I uploaded it yesterday, July fifth. So this way, I you know I have a like the the because the video is already uploaded if I, if I need evidence like uh, you know like if i went to a job uh, interview and on on a given day uh, if i upload it on that same day then that'll be like evidence that i actually went to the job interview on the given day on the day right but if i if i make a weekly video then people might say <laughs> Well, you didn't go on that day. You went on another day, and you just put a fake title there or something. But anyway, I'm just being paranoid. So um, it's got zero views. I might see. I might. I don't know if I want to see the video. I mean, I see it later. But if I do see, I'll put the uh, what time stamp for when I saw the video, even though it's just for me. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I might upload this one today. But I will do the weekly one and put it on my um, main channel, this channel, as a as a weekly video with the timestamp. Timestamp. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So I found all these documents online. Uh, this is uh, where this is a website called the Australian Unemployed Workers Union. And uh, they had they for, uh, so so this were a union for unemployed uh, workers, unemployed workers, um, unemployed people. <laughs> so they 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 I, they they you know there are all these documents like the the government documents you know managing and monitoring job seeker appointments. Uh, all of these things are what um, so I. So I'm, I'm sort of reading through this because it it, it sort of gives me a. a, a, a it informs me on what's actually happening because I don't think my job agency explains to me exactly what's going on. I don't even know if they know what. Like, I don't know. It's just like you know. Yeah, sometimes I feel like they don't know. Some of them don't know what's going on, what what they're doing. So um, it's my opinion. <laughs> I'm not. Is that defamation? Well. Well, my experience interacting with them, you know, I feel like some of them just like, like for instance, for instance, uh, bef if I'm, if I'm, they can only make me do, they can only ask me to do something if, if I actually signed a contract. The job plan is a contract between me and the government, uh, and the contract sets up what I will do. So on that day when I went to the um, job, the work for the doll, which was, you know, the, they told me it was closing down, I, I did not have to actually go to the, um, what I should have said is, I don't have to go to this because it is not in my job plan. So my employment consultant should have actually, before she asked me to go to the um, place to do my work for the doll, she should have updated my job plan to include 
that particular activity as compulsory and, and will count towards my work for the dole. But she didn't do that. So she really did not have any right to ask me to go there. If I declined it, they cannot penalize me because um, I did not I, because my job plan was not updated, right? So I didn't know I didn't know this stuff, you see. But now because I'm reading this stuff, I'm like, oh, okay, now this sort of makes sense. Um, so anyway, so <sighs> so anyway, so I'm just gonna relax a bit. I'm just getting me agitated <laughs> thinking about this. It's been causing me so much stress these past few days. I feel like my forehead is very really, really, it's like, you know, like my hair is like, it's kind of nothing that bugs me. It's like my hair problems and my weight problems and it's not that bad there. It's like, I don't know, it's like, you know, I wish I had, I wish I had, I wish I had long, healthy hair. But, you know, at the moment I don't. But maybe I, I might get my hair to be more healthy and with a proper diet and exercise and vitamins. Who knows? It might happen. <laughs> so, but, you know, it's kind of it's a bummer because I didn't have the, I didn't have the privilege of having long, beautiful hair because women have that generally. You know, the hair is like a, you know, it's a, it's a thing. So I, I feel like... Uh, Mm, you could have missed out, uh, but you know, hey, you know, this is my life, and this is how it is. Uh, anyway, so um, you know, just an update today, and yeah, I'll encode this uh, particular section and uh, upload it to my backup channel, and I will. Uh, I don't know if I'll make a video tomorrow. Oh, I did send an email to my uh, to the to the um you know the sisters of charity uh, because they haven't uh, they told me they will get in contact with me this week about my volunteering position and I haven't heard from them so maybe tomorrow they will tell me something anyway yeah uh, so it's uh, four uh, five forty p.m. Uh, Friday seventh of July twenty seventeen. I was just talking to my mom about uh, some house inspection she wants to do tomorrow. Uh, she can be so obsessive about this, these things. It's like, oh God. It's like, anyway, um, so today uh, was an interesting day. Uh, in the morning when I checked my uh, email on my phone, I got an email from the Centrelink uh, or some place uh, telling me I have a message in my inbox uh, my gov I got a message in my inbox so when I when I read that I thought oh my god this is they probably cancelled my uh, payment uh, and I was just lying in bed and I was just going through all these scenarios were going through my head where I'm just like arguing with them and <laughs> I was just, it was getting very crack you know very very um I was getting very mentally unsettled or you know agitated and so I just got up I don't know maybe around 8 30 or something I don't know uh, and then I, I wrote a email telling why oh actually I went to the website and I checked they did stop I got a I got a letter saying your new start allowance has been cancelled the letter was dated 5th of July that was the same day where I had that conflict with them you know so it's the day before yesterday so after you know how they I told you they set me an appointment at 3 p.m. giving me only 14 minutes notice which is a really not reasonable notice so uh, so they you know anyway so I, I wrote an email saying why the, the, the decision to cancel my, my stop my payment was wrong and so I, I went into kind of <laughs> I went into a bit of a like a complaint uh, I, I, I made a pretty good case and uh, you know I was really so stressed out about it and and then I got a response to that saying, okay, your payment has been reinstated. <laughs> and, okay, good. So I thanked them for that. And 
So I made an appointment to see the manager of this uh, employment agency uh, next Wednesday at two o'clock p.m. Uh, so I have that in, you know in writing. So uh, it's, it's like set in stone, so we know the date and time. Um, so I've also been doing a lot of research on this whole social security. Uh, the, uh, you know, what are my requirements? What is this mutual obligation? What is the work? For, you know. Anyway, so I've been reading lots of stuff, and it's because when I want, when I want, when I'm going to my appointment to talk to the manager, I, I actually have I'm I'm sort of writing up the things I want to get addressed, like. Um, for instance, uh, you know, like, um, so what I found out was that um, I am on, I have been, when I went to do the job capacity assessment last year, I have to get the exact date, um, they assessed me as having a partial capacity to work. And my requirements are 23 to 29 hours per week. So if, if you are required, so that's my, uh, how much um, they want me to work for. So three days, three days uh, per week, something like that. Um, uh, so uh, I'm also on stream C, which is like a, a t which means I, uh, when they deal with me, they should give me a little bit more flexibility uh, because I, when you're a job seeker, you're classified as stream A, B, or C, and stream C clients are need more assistance. So, so those these things, and and I was reading through the documents, and 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 it sort of like uh, gives me more information on, on on what what's what what the employment agency is supposed to do. Um, like for instance, um, you know. Uh, I, I, you know, I've got social anxiety, right? And uh, <laughs> there's nothing in the um, these guides, which are available on the government website, which says that uh, you have to attend like two times a week or three times a week. I couldn't find any information on that. It says that um, I think the employment agency has a lot of flexibility in determining how many times a uh, uh, you know someone has to attend. So, so all of this, so I've been sort of reading stuff like that, uh, um, you know, so doing a lot of research and, uh, yeah, so, uh, for instance, you know, when my uh, employment case manager, when she sent me an updated job plan over, the, over she told me to, um, you know, print out the job plan sign it and email it back to her. I don't think you're supposed to do it that way because um, if there's actually a, a, a stated procedure in this guide which tells you how you're supposed to do like you know a job seeker this is on page 33 of this guide it says job seeker agreeing to the job plan online uh, so providers may send a job plan to the job seeker dashboard through the job active website or job seeker app for the job seeker to review and agree online before using this option check that the job seeker has access to the job plan on their dashboard and know how to agree to it so so when she sent me the email that's not the way to do it you know you have to do it through this process over here so you know things like just little things like this that sort of like kind of bug me that you know, so I'm going to tell them I want them to follow this stuff properly and you know anyway so so I've just, I've just been a lot of the time doing research on this is reading this stuff up this is good because um, I, I you know I'm sort of considering working in social security law and this basically um, <laughs> this is exactly what I will have to do if I was working in this area you know helping other people this is the st type of stuff I'll have to know so for instance, you know, <clears throat> when they assess me as um, partial capacity to work, the, 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 that's actually the, in, there's, a, there's a legislation called the Social Security Act 1991 and section 16B, we just say partial capacity to work, this, this is a, a, a law under which 
they did that kind of an assessment. So, um, so I'm trying to figure out what all what is the independently of a program of support, what that means, and so I've been doing a lot of so my job assessment is valid for two years, so. Uh, yeah, so that so it was done last year, so it'll be valid for till 2018. Um, for, so they, they you, know, you know, so it's valid for two years. Uh, I also started uh, the online uh, application for the housing support thing, and when I was doing that application, um, I wanted to provide medical evidence to support my anxiety issues. Uh, you know, the, uh, you know, because that might ha help me. Uh, get a, a place to stay and I added my mom as a, 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 a co-occupant so um, so I, I had my I went to the psychiatrist last year uh, and asked her to fill out a uh, medical assessment application and I just checked that uh, application it was dated 1 August 2016 so that's when I probably saw her so I, I contacted her and I, you know, because I haven't seen my psychiatrist or the psychologist there uh, for months now. So I just wanted to check with her if my application was uh, valid or current. And then she said, yes, yeah, I can use it. Um, um, I also wanted to get some uh, dates on, on which dates I, s I went there. So apparently they, uh, you know, they gave me information on that, like, so apparently I attended that place four times. Uh, I saw the psychiatrist twice and I saw the psychologist twice. So I have the actual dates, which is good because I can, you know, I can have that information too. Because when I'm doing this housing application thing, uh, I can tell them th these are the dates I actually saw them. And I have this, uh, you know, the other mental health plan. I haven't made my appointment to see a you know psychologist there, but I have the plan with me, so I guess I could make an appointment next week. Um, so I've been doing a lot of this kind of stuff, <laughs> dealing with my employment agency and uh, this housing application uh, because we've got to leave in, in three months' time. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, so I want to continue doing this. This is good stuff because this allows me to learn and uh, practice. So figure out what's going on here. God, oh, the lighting is bad. I'm sorry for the lighting. Uh, I feel a bit fat, maybe. Uh, you know, uh, I haven't been taking. I haven't been measuring my weight lately because the the battery. I think I've got to change on my weighing machine. Anyway, anyway, anyway uh, um, so uh, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I did upload uh, yesterday's video to the backup channel. I haven't seen those two videos; they're just private, uh, you know, zero views each. But I might see them later. I don't know. I'm tired. So, um, I will probably upload this tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, upload this tomorrow. <sighs> anyway, tomorrow I'm main channel. You know. So, that's the weekly vlog. Oh, that's the weekly vlog. And hopefully, uh, you know, I can continue to take care of myself and uh, lose weight. I feel like my face is slightly fat. I feel like it is kind of fat. Like, like, um, it is kind of, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I will, um, yeah, um, sign off. Yeah.